Hi, my name is Michelle, a technician with iDVR.info. Within the box that the DVR comes in, you will find a CD with a label on it. This label gives you um, activation instructions on how to activate a DDNS service for your DVR. Type in the URL from the label on the CD, http colon forward slash forward slash i-dvr.net forward slash logon.asp. Enter in the username given on the front of the label, generally starting with IC. Then enter the password given on the label and click log on. Once you're logged into your account, you can type in a host.domain name under add new record and click insert. If that DDNS name is not available, it will let you know that it has been taken and you'll just have to re-enter in a name until you find one that, that is available. Uh, it's best to do this from the uh, computer where the net, on the net, uh, same network that the DVR is being installed on. That way you get the WAN IP from that network. When the domain name, DDNS name, pulls up under host manager, you have successfully created the DDNS name. You can then log out of your program. Now you're going to want to enter the DDNS name within the DVR. To do this, you're going to right click on the mouse to pull up the menu. You're going to go down to Setup in Main Menu. You're going to enter in the default username and password. Excuse me, the username is admin. The password is 123456. Click the Enter button. You go into Network and DDNS Setup. Uh, make sure the top left box is checked to enable DDNS. You're going to choose i-dvr.net as your DDNS server. The host name is going to be the DDNS name that you created online. And click enter. Uh, the username is going to be the same username located on the label of your CD. Then you're going to enter the password also located on the label of the CD. You're going to hit, click enter. Once that information has been entered, you can click OK and the DDNS has been stored in the DVR. For more information, visit idvr.info.